It's Saturday morning around 8 o'clock, 8.30, and um, it's July 27th, 2024. We're at Brownwood Paddock Square in the Villages, Florida, and we have a little C8 meet and greet, and you don't have to have a C8 to come to the meet and greet, as you can see right there. By the way, next time you see that black car, take a look at the paint. It looks fantastic. That's Don's car. Uh, anyway, different colors, different com color interior combinations, it just it, this cacti green, very um, unique and looks great. I love the wheels on that car too. George Bork's car, who is the webmaster, you probably all know him, well, m most of you probably know him. Uh, we had some people from Crystal River come up and join us, and that's great. Anybody from anywhere in the area can come and join us. You don't have to belong to any particular club or anything, although we do get good support from the Village Vets Corvette Club. They're very kind to us, so we appreciate them too. Um, this is an interesting graphics that I haven't seen before. I've never seen this. I'm, maybe it's around somewhere, but I've never seen it. It looks great. Uh, nice looking car. Uh, also look at some of the engine interior work that's been done on that car. It's very, very nice. And a ceramic matrix gray metallic with a red black interior right there. And let's see what else we got. Oh, I love this uh, in the front. You can put these uh, graphics in there that tell you all about the owner's car, which is really great. This blue look great with the, uh, I want to call it gunmetal wheels. I'm not sure what the color is, but those wheels look great on that car. This gentleman's yellow car always looks fantastic. It's uh, the engine compartment we're gonna see in a minute that looks unbelievable. Another dark red car, which I like. Its color is very popular. I think it's one of the most popular colors uh, in Corvette. I like the tan interior. That matches up perfectly with that car. Then even a bla another black car. Uh, and I like the gunmetal wheels on uh, this car too. But now let's get some reaction on the new C8 Corvette ZR1. And here we go. We're here with Wayne, who, in my humble opinion, has the nicest engine compartment interior that I've ever seen on the planet. So Wayne, congratulations on a beautiful, beautiful uh, engine compartment. I, I always take video of this when I can. Thanks very much. It's it's so, Chris Cruz artistry. So yeah, it's, it's it's my pay it's my check, but it's his work. So he's the one that's responsible he, for it. The the big thing today is um, the question of today is um, what do you think of the new ZR1? Well, having only seen the video, I can tell you it's a pretty impressive piece of automobile. Uh, that is. When you just talk about the numbers, a thousand, what, 1,064 horsepower with 870 foot-pounds at the wheel and torque, uh, that's going to shred tires and it'll shred concrete. That's going to be one going machine. It's just, how much is enough? Uh, we have no idea what the price is going to be, but I think with the limited production, you're probably looking at somewhere in the $200,000 starting range, if you can get your hands on one. Uh, they've already started to talk, uh, you know, what will Rick Hendrick pay for the 001 VIN number and estimates are $4 million at next year's uh, Barrett-Jackson. Jackson, so, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> if, if if for the common guy, and the common guy isn't going to buy that car, but no. for the common guy, if you're starting at 200000 by the time you trick it out, you're looking at a quarter of a million dollars. It's a $250,000 Chevrolet. It's... It's, a lot of be, money. it's going to be a <laughs> lot of money, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's just one incredible machine, yeah. too. I mean, from the spec sheets, we'll yeah. see once it gets on the road. I was interested to see that they're keeping the same transmission that a lot of people have had issues with, but they've taken that and put that into now their supercar. So they must feel pretty confident that they've worked out whatever problems there were in that, but can't wait to see it. Yeah. I, you know, will there be one in the club? Never say never. Don't know. 
Yeah, we want to see one here at the CA meeting. I would uh, love to meet see one at Village Vets. Yeah, at Village Vets, <laughs> for sure. All right, Wayne, thank you so much. My pleasure. Very, very good. Thanks, thanks, Wayne. You We're here with Doug and his beautiful 2021 Z51 Corvette, which looks absolutely gorgeous. And I love, it. just one of Doug, I just want to show them the interior here. And the same thing in the, in the uh, engine compartment, too. And this all looks like it should have looked from the factory. From the factory, from I the agree. factory. Yeah, but that's what, uh, I think your car looks great, and uh, I'm very impressed with the both the engine compartment and the uh, frunk up here. Thank you. It's been but a great hobby. Today's uh, thing is all about uh, the new ZL1, which just was announced a couple of days ago, and everybody's uh, pretty excited about it. I think. I am too. I yeah. did the research on it. I watched the videos and. Uh, got all the details about it i think it's a great uh, development for for gm and i'm looking forward to seeing one and i don't know if i'll be able to drive one drive one but i'm looking forward to see it in person but uh, i think the 1064 horsepower is uh, really worth uh, worth the time to see what it's like it's i it's very impressive the fact that they uh they got a twin turbocharged uh, engine which I didn't think they could do because the turbos normally have a lag, but they fixed the lag. They've got those uh, turbos. They look like they're almost into the exhaust manifold. Right, right. Well, pretty I like impressive. the idea of the fact that at 80 miles an hour, you can go to 200 uh, miles an hour in 25 seconds. I think I don't know where you use it, but uh, yeah, not on the uh, not on the traffic circles down here. I'm sure. No, not in, I don't think we could use it in the villages even no, on no. 301. But uh, no, it would no. be fun to ride in it. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Doug. Thanks oh, so much. Welcome. I'm here with Ed and his lovely wife, who's in the passenger seat, which she can see the speedometer from there. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Can. My wife sits there and she says, uh, you know, it's 35 here and we're in a 35 mile an hour zone. She gives me the business, so take it easy. Listen, uh, Ed, um, the new ZR1 was announced a couple of days ago. Uh, just your opinion. I saw the your video. It was, it's an outstanding car. Yeah. It's expensive. It goes yeah. way faster than I care to go. Uh, 1,064 horsepower. That's a little over the top. Two... Uh, um, turbochargers, the flat plane crank motor, I mean, it's it's quite a car. You know, I'm not sure why they built it, but somebody's going to buy them. Somebody with deep pockets is going to buy them. It's going to be expensive, well over 200000 yeah. for one of them. I yeah, think. I think it would be, two. I think 200000 is probably a good range. I think the MSRP is one eighty. Oh, geez, really? Oh, my gosh. I haven't heard that yet, but, but I, you're probably right. Yeah. You're probably right. Yeah. I mean, it would be fun to have if you had all the money in the world. And Well, I tell my wife if I hit the lottery I'm going to buy, I'm going to put my order in immediately. There you go. <laughs> I'm sure John over there would be glad to t take your order. But oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's yeah, like thank all you. the Corvettes. Right? Thank you so much. My pleasure. Yeah, because your car looks great, by the way. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. So you might be wondering why I stopped the video. Well, the reason I stopped the video is I had a memory card problem. And the problem was that about seven of my interviews got trashed. And uh, so what I'd like you to do is leave a comment down below and tell us what you think about the new ZR1. I'd like to see your comments. I think that would add a lot to the video if you left a comment about what you think about the new ZR1. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video. Colorful lights I think I love you too much I miss your blueberry eyes